All right, Rick, thanks. Well, we're hitting the road in this month's edition of Up and Atom Science as we conclude our series on the Year of the Human Body and the Grossology exhibit at the Da Vinci Science Center. I headed out to the lab at St. Luke's recently to talk medical careers and, of course, all things gross with Dr. Christopher Chapman, a pathologist at the hospital, and Da Vinci's chief scientist, Dr. David Smith. Take a look. Well, good morning, everybody. Talk about up and at them. People are up and at them here at the St. Luke's University Health Network Lab. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Lady. Thank you so much for being with me this morning. And Dr. Chapman, thank you for letting us invade your turf no here problem. in the lab. Talk to us a little bit about some of the things that go on here. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Um, in the laboratory, essentially, any specimen that comes from a patient, whether it be body fluids, um, tissue that's taken off of a patient, out of a patient for surgery, anything you can think of will come down to the laboratory and, to be evaluated. Mm -hmm. um, and the laboratory and or pathologist will give back a diagnosis to the doctor mm -hmm. so that the patient knows what's going on with them. Um, so there's the full spectrum of everything you can think in the laboratory. Um, we do everything from areas that are like chemistry to microbiology to virology, which is viruses. We do molecular studies, um, analyzing blood, urine, any, like wow. I said, any fluid, any tissue you can think of, we're the ones that evaluate it. Okay, so no one queasy works here. You have um, to be a strong, yeah, uh, a, strong individual, there's right? There's a spectrum of <laughs> grossness. Okay, yeah, and speaking of grossness, of course, we've been talking about grossology, the hit ex exhibit over at the Da Vinci Science Center, uh, and we're excited to be here for a behind-the-scenes look as we conclude our Year of the Human Body Up and Atom episodes. And talk to us about the level of grossness here, Dr. Chapman. I know you have a, a gross buffet, uh, if you will, to show us. Yep, so as I said, there's a spectrum. We may get everything from... For for example, this is an artificial hip. Mm -hmm. Again, like I said, it was taken out of a person, so it's sent down because we have to document it. Um, you may also, sorry, that's me. This, which is moving up the spectrum of grossology, or actually this one may show better. And that's a tapeworm there? This is a tapeworm. So this Yummy, came everybody. out of someone's digestive tract. Mm. Um, Hopefully people aren't eating their Cheerios right yes. now. Yes, this kind of colorful, almost looks like a little asteroid. This actually came out of someone's gallbladder. Wow. So when you hear that a family member has gallstones, they can get this large or larger. Um, like I said, any fluid. Um, sometimes if we're worried that someone has an infection, they may send down blood or some other fluid. If you have a wound on you and it's spread onto a plate, that helps any organisms, if they're in there, to grow. And the white that you see here is, in fact, the organisms, so that we can tell people exactly what the infection may be. Here's another one. Sometimes they're very colorful. Wow. And the people who work with these gross uh, specimens, Dr. Chapman, aren't necessarily doctors and nurses. Talk to us about some of the careers uh, that folks who work in this lab have. Sure. The, the majority, actually, of people that are working in the lab are not. Um, physicians. Um, there's a spectrum from uh, medical technicians, um, medical lab assistants. Um, the different titles may require more or less training following high school, anywhere from a couple years to four years after high school, um, all the way up. So, but the majority of people are not physicians, um, but they are specifically trained in these different areas. So, lots of different career opportunities. Many, many career opportunities. Great. And speaking of career opportunities, Dave, I know you're enthralled by all of this grossness because it fits right in with what you're working with over at the Da Vinci Science Center. And a big uh, emphasis of the year in, of the human body has been on careers, right? Absolutely. We want uh, students to understand the many different careers uh, that are related to the human body and the ways that they can get involved in those careers, all of which involve math and science and technology and engineering. A uh, big part of our emphasis at the Science Center. And you guys have uh, had a mini medical school, even some of the camp programs uh, that have highlighted the different careers, right? That's right. We've had a great year in partnership with St. Luke's, uh, our year of the human body, as you said. And uh, we've had mini medical schools. We'll have another one coming up. Um, we also have mini medical school camp for kids this summer. So we have uh, students getting involved in a bunch of different ways. Um, and we also have the grossology exhibit that you highlighted that's open through Labor Day and is a great chance for kids to learn more about 
about some of the impolite science of the human body and the way that their bodies work. Well, we've had fun talking about all things gross with you guys. And Dr. Chapman, thanks for the behind the scenes tour. We're going to take a little hiatus from Up and Adam Science, but we'll be back and uh, bigger and better than ever in the fall, right, Dave? That's right, Eve. And we have the year of innovation coming up oh, starting okay. in the fall. And we're really excited to be back with you and highlighting innovative things. All right. Always fun, Dave. Thanks so much. And again, we'll have a gross activity that you can try at home on our website, WFMZ.com, as well as more information about everything going on at the Da Vinci Science Center. Stay with us. We'll be right back.